train you how to make it? Now, uh, basically, there was uh, three schools of mosaics were established worldwide. The first was in Italy, the second in Tunisia, we were the third school in the world. Out of the three schools, we started to produce something called microstone mosaics. What I mean by microstone, we were capable to produce the mosaics as more than the original, almost 205 times. Imagine how condensed the workmanship was, almost like, like a, a hair piece. I will show you some of the products that we produce. This is actually a microstone, but there is a micro micro, very tedious one. Now, how we do that? We switch a canvas to a flat board, then we trace the image on it as a reverse image of you. So, what you see is the back of the piece, not the front of it. Then we start to dice the stones, and with organic glue, we glue the soil to the design. The glue is a mixture. Woody glue cooked with the flour. So, it'll be stronger than a starch, but weaker than a woody glue. After we finish up with the work, we pull the canvas off the board, the stones will be under the canvas, as you see. So, what you see is uneven surface. And this is the face to be. Since it goes to a flat board, it's going to be a flat. We get a wooden frame or iron frame, tabletop, backsplash, however we're going to use the piece of rock. We'll blend our cement mixture of two to one. Two portions of soft sand, one portion of white cement. And then we fill it inside the container all the way up to the top. Then we flip our work on the top. With a tool that looks like an iron, with no heat, we apply pressure on the top. Now, close enclosure, thin mixture, pressure on the top, cause what we call a semi-hydraulic pressure that keeps the stone floating. The more pressure we apply, the more force we gain. Forcing the cement as well as the water to go between the seams of the stones. It's like grouting process. Now the flour that was in previously, the glue starts to extract the water from the cement that makes the glue weak and softly. We peel it off, we end up with a flat surface as you see on the back. After, after that, we leave the piece of dry and actually between three to four days to the measurement of the piece. After that, we clean the residue of the cement as well as the glue up, and we apply resin or water box in either or. That prevents the water penetration and at the same time breaks it out the very dry Now all these colorful stones are treated. For example, this is iron oxide mineral deposit, this one and the red one. This is a brownish color. The green is copper oxide mineral deposit of marble. Uh, we have a black, it's an oil shell, or what we call a bitumen limestone. Limestone. We have a gray, that's either aluminum or magnesium oxide mineral deposits. So that's how we make it. Now we know how to make it. Right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>